Mia Snow. What's good? What's going on? How you doing? I'm feeling good. That's good to hear. Good to know. Real good. good to know. You know it. That's right. <laughs> Grand Moscato. Let's get yep. it. You know it. Let's talk to him, Mia Snow. You living or you surviving? Both. Explain. I've always been in survival mode gotcha. growing up and just, you know, raising myself and everything. So I will always be in survival mode. I'm really? always trying to make sure I'm good or just any in any situation, right. I'm just that mindset is survival. I yeah. gotta survive this. I gotta get through this. That's and then real. I'm living because I wouldn't be living without surviving. Come on. That's real. <laughs> That's real. That's real. Welcome to the integrity response with your brother CEO Khaki. Every individual sitting across from me doesn't believe in being typical, ordinary, or familiar. They're elite, meaning society's norms don't sit well with them. They believe in raising the bar for themselves, family, and for those they may never meet. From those in humble beginnings to those in the midst of greatness and legends who've paved the way. With a comedic edge, I will ask the questions that hold value, and I believe will gain insight to the real them. The integrity response. Let's take them back, me. Let's, let's take them back, me. Let's know. Let's take them back. Let's do it. Before pursuing music, at the age of nine, what did you want to be? A lawyer. In my Come head, on, I was song. like, okay. Everybody planted in my head. They was like. Oh, you argue a lot. You make gotcha. a great lawyer. lawyer. So I'm like, I want to be a lawyer. Gotcha. That's and then real. at the time, one of my uh, adopted families at the moment, the uncle, he was a lawyer and he was rich as hell. And gotcha. I was like, I want a boat. I want my own real. pontoon boat. Real. So, no, <laughs> so you, you, I was you like, yeah. Early on, you saw something. When I was young, I saw something I, and I wanted it. Gotcha. And I was like. But do I gotta be a lawyer to get it? Gotcha. So I see. That's real. That's what's up. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs> Let's take a bet, man. Duval, 904, Jacksonville. Mm. What does that mean to you? It comes back to the um, word survival because I grew up in foster care. I never really got the chance to explore Jacksonville gotcha. for real. I was moved instantly from the age of three to Georgia gotcha. to different families. And so, yeah. Real. Gotcha. That's what it means is survival. Okay. And you also mentioned, you know, in a previous interview about foster care, how it matured you faster. Mm -hmm. It did. You know, amongst your peers. So have you always felt like you were a leader? Yes. I, um, I was 25 when I was 16. Real. That's real though. <laughs> so real. Gotcha. My mindset's been up there, but I have a thing where I like to play like, not dumb, but like dumb, you know, like, I like to play like, I, I don't know what I'm talking about for real, but I know what's up. Because you gain something from being a mouse. Yeah. On a, you, you gain something from speaking less. Yes. Real. Respect that. Respect that. You also mentioned you was uh, raised by a black family as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of most most of my like majority of my families were black. So they taught me the best. Gotcha. Of course. And then a lot of things I didn't know even about culture and just everything. Real. Just, it taught me everything. So it made me ready for the like for the moments where they be like, oh, you're a culture vulture. Gotcha. Just because I'm chilling and I got swag. Real. I'm in some Jordans and, and people, I'm in Jordans every day almost. And people are like, put in your cowboy boots. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm like, well, damn, if I had some, I would. That's real. <laughs> but, but that's up. But being labeled or being pictured, don't even know your background. Right. People draw assumption from whatever they want to early on. It's just because I give off a look. And people, when you see somebody, everybody judges a book by its that's cover. A fact. Looking at me, you would never know I went through anything it looks like everything gets handed real, to me real. got some rich white daddy somewhere i don't even know who my dad is gotcha sis gotcha what does that do for a young kid growing up you know jacksonville to lower georgia you know moving from fam family to family did you you know what did that do how did that how did that what did that create i know it created you know what i'm saying it created a beast i was just about to say a monster i know it did because I was around different type of environments. I saw both worlds. Right. I saw things I shouldn't have seen. Right. I saw things I should have seen. Gotcha. And um that prepared me to this mindset that I have now. It prepared me for this life that I want that I knew I was gonna have one day. And being around those types of environments, like they were good and they were most of the time bad. Really? But I made something good out of those bad situations. Gotcha. I was always on my P's and Q's. Really? Some situations I wasn't able to be on my P's and Q's. So, of course, bad things happen. But 
you learn from them. You don't dwell in them. Right. That's a lot real. of people like to dwell in things. You went through oh, it. Oh, I went through this. Gotcha. And, and now I'm, this is why I'm like, no. that could be true, but it's, it's also an excuse. You have a choice. <laughs> you have a choice. Something. You're saying something. If everybody, you know, just in a sense, what you've been through, if everybody wallowed in their misery, this whole world would be a depressed mess. It'd be a disaster. It'd be the zombie apocalypse at this point. Wow. Everybody would be on fentanyl by now. Wow. Everybody, not just a couple people that's out there doing it. Everybody would be gone. Where do you get your strength from? God. Come on, sis. Come on. I walk in faith Come on, every sis. day. I don't fear nothing but God. Yeah, we all are afraid of things. Little like, things, right? That's right. I'm afraid of planes. Come on. <laughs> but I only fear God. Gotcha. So at the end of the day, that's what inspires me. That's what right. keeps me going. You from there, uh, you went to South Georgia. And at this time, you know, we're going into the preteens. Around mm -hmm. Where were you then? I was in Tifton, Georgia. Tifton, Shout Georgia. out to Tifton. Come on now. <laughs> that was one of my favorite schools I went to, even though I get picked on for being a foster kid. But I didn't give no fucks about none of that. I was like, oh, I'm a foster kid? I bet. Real. Cool. Guess gotcha. what? I'm still cool as hell. That's real. What type of people <laughs> did you hang around in high school? Ma Every majority of everybody was black. So gotcha. I was around right. that That's environment. Right. <laughs> there was real. white girls that loved gotcha. me too. But That's like, they were different than me. Like, gotcha. preppy and they had a better life than I did. So I didn't really... Fall into that category. Gotcha. Um, people like to categorize me and just because I'm white, just to be around white people. Or, and come to find out, white people didn't really accept me gotcha. back then. I went where I was accepted, which was around black, black people. Black people. That's who you normally... They loved that's me. Who you are. That's <laughs> I'm real. just like, that's shit. Real. I love that's you, That's real. Too. <laughs> come on, sis. That's real. That's real. <laughs> and at this time, you spoke on Tifton. Did you know this was the reading capital of the world? I didn't. And you... At 14, also had the, I don't know your mindset. I was like 15, 16. Okay. But around this time, you actually wrote a 14 chapter book. Mm, I don't. <laughs> Yo. So I was Come actually 14 when yeah. I wrote that, wrote that book. Wow. I what wrote, I was uh, very, very big on R.L. Stein. I love R.L. Stein, Come but on now. like it's scary, Goosebumps, but classic. like it was funny, but kind of like, you know, right. it's not real. It's real. Now they got some shit out that's like, oh, this is real. Gotcha. And <laughs> demons and shit. Gotcha. And then, but in R.L. Stein, it was just like, it friendly. was cool, Kid friendly. but scary too that's at the right. same time. So I wrote some sort of like a R.L. Stein book gotcha. and it was 14 chapters Come and on um, now. Or 15, I forgot. But yeah, I did it when I was actually in ISS. Wow. <laughs> I'm in ISS board. I don't want to do my work. That's yeah. why I'm there anyway. Gotcha. I don't want to do nothing to my right. me. That's real. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to write a book. That's dope. Something so, productive. Did you know, now I'm, I'm jumping ahead, but as a songwriter, lyricist you are, did you always feel like you had that, like writing that? You know, oh, like yeah. almost like, wait a minute. Like, you know, it probably didn't mellow then at mm -hmm. 14, 15, you know, like, but... Looking back, you're like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. You got to have vocabulary. Number one, you have to have patience. I loved language arts in school. My favorite was writing all the time gotcha. and reading. I love reading. reading. I haven't read a book in a minute, gotcha. but I read my lyrics all the time. And that's the, that. that's, the that's the realest. That's the realest things I can I can read. So. That's real. And I only speak about real things. When I make music, you'll never hear me just talking about what everybody else is talking about. Oh, about that's coochies and that's throwing it back on somebody. That's a fact. I will be speaking about what I went through and how to get to the top. That's right. Because it's going to motivate people. That's real. And it's, un and it's unisex. Guys, I, more majority of my fan base is guys. Gotcha. And I'm not even out here with the the biggest gotcha. BBL or that's nothing. Real. Like you, you got majority of guys fucking with me than girls. They could be, but they a, love my music. Though. Gotcha. Of course, you like you might like what you see, but it's my music. They'd be like, "Yo, That's a you fact. say you, you're so different. Something about you so different." So I always tell folks, "Different is my middle name." Real. So and we gonna get into all the music, man. Your your yeah. your sound. If you notice, I didn't say rapper or singer at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, before music, mm -hmm. because your sound is it's, you can't really categorize it. You can't. I'm it's very really versatile. Different. I can do fact. anything, any type of genre. Real. It could be rock. And I will go in that bitch yelling, <laughs> but it's gonna sound like a song. That's real. Though. That's <laughs> Screaming. Real. That's real. Wait, just That's like real. kiss. I'm gonna be like kiss. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> no, whatever whatever the production speaks to it, whatever the beat speaks it's to you. It all depends on the beat. Like whatever I feel on that beat, that's what's coming out. Uh recently heard a beat. It wasn't a gospel beat, but 
gospel is what brought, the beat brought out of me. That's so right. I made a gospel song Come too. Come on, sis. That's dope. That's dope. Would you explore? Would you explore that passion? Would you? Oh yeah. You know, I'm, limitless. I'm not ready even for that in. too. Like, I know later on there's something bigger than being uh-huh. the biggest artist. I have something that's planned for me later on that I know I'm gonna get to that's that real. point later on. That's real. I'm that's just. Following these baby steps first. They're not baby steps. No, you ain't. They're you big steps. Base. Come on down. But I look at it as big like snow. Don't do that. a step at a time. That's You're right. right. That's right. So big steps, but a step at a time at a, at a slow pace. That's right. And I just know when I get to the last step that I need to take that God gives me, yeah. I'm going to be where he wants me to Come be. Come on. That's right. And it's probably serving him. That's right. Doing Come whatever it is. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Humility. I love that. I love that. Did you play any sports or anything? Middle school, high school? I was a cheerleader. Come on, that's what's up. And that's, that's a sport. So don't let dope. nobody tell you different for all my cheerleaders. Right. We that's be real. out there working that's right. out. That's right. That's running that's around. Real. That's real. Flipping and back flipping and that's real. squats and Come splits on. and shit. That's right. That's like, real. Definitely. I was a flyer and a base. I'm very strong. I might not look like it on camera, but I do like 10 push-ups a day. Gotcha. Sit-ups. So that's important. It is important. Journey. Gotcha. Yes. That's good. That stamina has to go... You know, like as an I've been artist. slacking a little bit, gotcha. but I, but okay. I do do my sit ups and my push ups. Gotcha, for sure. All right, yeah, you know that's what's up. That's what's up. That's dope. So let me ask you this, man. You know, take them back in high school for your fans, for your supporters. Fill in the blank. In high school, I was known as the kid that was an outcast. Gotcha. Like, but center of attention too. I was going to ask. So, outcast as a cheerleader, popular kid. No, I wasn't popular, or I didn't think I was popular. Because I didn't, I wasn't the blonde girl that was the captain. I was gotcha. co-captain, gotcha. but it's because I had the personality. Gotcha. And back then, well, really, blondes are what people are attracted to. Oh, white girl blondes, white girl blonde gotcha. hair. I'm. I was the carrot top. I got picked on all the time. Oh, she got red hair. Gotcha. No eyebrows. No lashes. Gotcha. Mind you, they're just blonde. They're there. They're just very blonde. <laughs> like if I didn't do my makeup, you, I would be looking like a thumb right now. You see this? Do you see this? <laughs> this would have been me if I didn't know how to do makeup. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, for sure. What was your first? So that job? was the outcast part. But the center of attention was yeah. because I was a foster kid or because I was redhead. Like. Gotcha. Gotcha. Because of that, I was talked about most of the time. Okay. Good or bad. People growing up thought it was, you know, beautiful to be a redhead. But then you got, I'm in school. I'm a kid. I don't care what adults right. think. I'm, gotcha. I'm like, damn. Gotcha. I, now I need to dye my hair black because I don't, I don't, I ain't trying to be gotcha. a blonde like I nobody. See. I tried I blonde and I was like, I feel like everybody. Gotcha. Else. I knew I was different. Right. I was just about to say that. When did you tap into like knowing like, Forget what y'all think. Who I was and yeah, shit. Like, forget what y'all think. I'm I'm me. When it you took me about that? like 16 years old, 17, really to figure it out. But I wasn't like ready to accept that knowledge yet. Because gotcha. when I was like 16, 17, I learned how to use band lab. And Classic. since it was so hard for me to get in the studio because I couldn't pay for it, I couldn't do anything. I tapped into other resources. Right. I forgot who told me about band lab. Gotcha. Because I was like, garage band, garage band sounds like trash. I'm sorry to whoever <laughs> made garage band, you know? But that shit's trash to me. It might work for other people, but right. it don't work for me. Gotcha. Band lab, on the other hand, come on. I sucked back then. But I kept going, going. with it. Just kept going. I was like, you know what? I know I'm gonna sound right eventually. And these studios are so difficult because people try me all the time. They gotcha. see a little white girl and automatically think I'm green. I'm white I'm white. I'm white. Gotcha. I'm not green. Get don't get your colors confused. I know you okay. I know you deal with that. Yes. And a have lot. dealt with that. I still deal with your, it. Even without showing up in person, I deal with it from different producers. How do you deal with that in this industry? How do you proceed with the with strong chin? Like how do you, you know, maintain that stamina that integrity uh, how do you go about that I don't bar <laughs> I don't deal with it cause bar. guess what I'm gonna do oh you a producer get what I engineer myself at home all the time I don't Real. need a producer I don't need well my, when I mean producer like yeah you can send me beats but right. as far as being in the in studio the and you producing Correct. it for me no hand in that hand, I don't one. need you gotcha I know how to do it send me the beat my top song oh no was engineered don't, by me oh I don't need nobody telling me shit can't nobody tell me nothing and that's crazy if now if I knew how to make my own beats I'd be a beast a That's bigger beast, crazy. a bigger one, because I'm already a monster. But I'd be a bigger beast if I if I knew how to make my own beats. So you know, of course, when a producer sends me beats, about, right? 
I go through my email all the time. I'm always in my email listening into shit and figuring out, oh, sh- I could fuck with this one. I can I can do this for real. So then I go to engineer gotcha. myself. So yeah. We're gonna get into old note too. I got a whole uh, I got a whole deep dive on that for sure. Right, right. For sure. Where did you get this love for curry chicken? <gasps> I don't know, to be honest. I was on, <laughs> okay, so I was on the run, but okay. not what you think. Okay, right. I, ain't, I ain't kill nobody. Gotcha. I promise I'm good. Gotcha. I'm good people. Right. <laughs> so, I, you know, I ran from group homes growing up because okay. of foster care. So gotcha. I was just outside. Right. And I remember being around somebody that didn't care about my situation and okay. just wanted to look out for me one day just was asking if i was hungry right. and brought home brought like some curry chicken rice and and the cabbage but i didn't i wasn't fucking with the cabbage gotcha. so i'm just real picky on texture right right but i do like my greens i just gotcha. don't like cabbage <laughs> so it's like i ate the curry chicken i was like seasoning <laughs> Spices. Yes. <laughs> and I love that. I love that's seasoning. Real. Like, I gotcha. love that's what's things up. that taste good. God, that's real, though. Is that like, so, if you had one, what, what's your favorite meal? Just anything? I mean, just like normally, is it, you like a, so are you usually, more wings than burger? If you had, not saying like, you know, if you had to eat out. I like burgers. I used to like burgers more than wings, but wings are cool. But it's neither one. I love me some salmon. Gotcha. Salmon's my favorite. Like, automatically. And, and then I'll say, Curry is a second because not every place can make it how you want. Real. And then there's some people that make it homemade, but it still don't be hitting how it's supposed to. Real. Where do you get that love for salmon? I don't know. Man, let me tell you, I was in the Coast Guard station in Alaska for three and a half years. Pink salmon, silvers, and kings. Mm-hmm. They're the best. <sighs> <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> it is. you know. I like salmon and grits, yeah. salmon and pasta. Oh. Salmon and pasta is that shit. I need some right after this. Real. No cap. That's real. That's so <laughs> need some nap. That's real. Like, where, where's Nathaniel? That's real. Right, right, right. Go give me some salmon. That's real. That's so <laughs> Definitely, man. Let me no, ask no, 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 no. Nate said I can't handle salmon for a minute. Gotcha. <laughs> so I'm going to Mercury, right? <laughs> yeah. That's real. If, if you could go back and ask, go back and tell your 18 year old self something, what would it be? Don't give up. Real. Don't go back to suicide attempts. Don't go back to you do want to be here. There's a Come reason on, you need to be here. Don't do it. That was what I, I would tell my 18 year self because at that moment I was going through something. I was actually with another with another group of people with okay. this music and um, it didn't go too well. But there were some trials and tribulations and I was suicidal at the moment because okay. I've been through that growing up in foster care from like the age of 14. Okay. That's when I started. And then I was just cut. Now, if you notice, I have tattoos. Right, right. I I would like instead of cutting out, I would just get tattoos. So respect. Yeah, and um, it went. It tapped into that world. Real. Yeah. Real. Like what? What? What drives you to keep going? Was it your group of friends that actually, you know? I never kept had you? friends. I had mm. associates, associates because or people in my life. Yes, because my mom always, my foster mom always told me that's my mama for real. My fa- my mom, she always told me, you don't have no friends. I've heard I'm that. not your friend. I heard that so many times <laughs> and I'm interviewing. Like, what do you mean? I'm always like, what do you mean? Everybody's my friend. You don't have no friends. People do not stick around. She gave it to me like that. Like, no sugar coating. Wow. People don't stick around. They don't love you for real. They ain't got your best interest. And I'm like, you know what? That's stuck in my head. There's some people that, my, that are good people. Right. But at the end of the day, we're all here for ourselves. That's a fact. So you're saying something. Yeah, you and might you might care that, about me, but you're going to gonna always put yourself first. So that's I had to tap into myself and be like, OK, I'm myself. I'm my, I'm my own friend. Okay. I have. There you go. I have to make the best for myself. Yes. There may be some people who actually, you know, gravitate towards me, but it's me at the end of the day. It's me at the end of the I day. Al- I often always say. No one's going in that casket with you. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Like, unless they got a double bed, like unless you want to die with me, shit, that's real we can do that though. too. But at the end of the day, that's I'm gonna be in though. it by myself. I was, I've been by myself since I was three years old when I was giving up on. When you, when people give up on you, you tend to tap in that world. Either you can give up, give up on yourself too, or you can make something out of it and become something bigger. And where folks are gonna be like, yo, I gave up on her, and now I look at her. Wow. I want people to look look at me and say that because there's so many people that gave up on me. Does that drive you? 
What do you mean? Does that motivate you? Yeah, I go insane. Like, when I think about things like that, I'm like, I'm going 10 times harder now. Respect. I be in the garage recording on Respect. my phone, making music every day almost. I'll tell Nate, yo, I just made a hit. It'll be like 3 in the morning. He's probably asleep. Like and I'm like, yo, I made <laughs> a hit. Real. And he don't answer back to the next That's day. That's real. That's real, <laughs> I'm like. But you, you're motivated. Yeah. You, you're, you're really in today right now. You're like, no, like, I don't. I don't have tomorrow. I don't. I'm, or I don't know from, that I do, so I I gotta keep going. Why do you Why do you think other people don't think like that? Cause they're slow. Wow. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I'm the I'm wow. real. I come. No, but whatever no, comes real. to my mind, I'ma say it, and with the most utmost respect too. Like I'ma be real. I got nothing to hide for. You're slow. If you think like that, cause at the end of the day, you have to keep going. You have to get up and do something. We're put on this earth to be to to make a name for ourselves. What, why would you be put on this earth just to oh, yeah, die, just not no, not being known for nothing? Like it don't matter if it's for the littlest things that matter, like just feeding the homeless Come or on. just giving somebody clothes off your back. At least you have a name for yourself. You're gonna be known as you cared. Real. You're gonna be known as that's a real person. person who gave. You don't gotta be an artist. You don't gotta be the biggest lawyer of the town or the city. You ain't gotta be the mayor or the president. You just gotta make a name for yourself. Don't Real. just die knowing you're not gonna, nobody gonna care. You saying something. I want somebody to give a fuck when they at my grave. <laughs> Playing my song, shaking some ass or something. Thank you. <laughs> at Mia my funeral, Sno Thank you. my friends would be shaking some ass. Thank Don't be you. sad, cause I'm in a better place. This world's crazy. Get, no, but no, you, but you're saying something. I, but I, I left the mark. I yeah, left the I need to leave a mark that's gonna like, motivate people i get to this day people tell me you motivate me people call me drunk telling me wow. you motivate me mia Come on. you're an inspiration i love what you're Come doing so and you know on. it's real when somebody call you drunk hey, like while you're in the <laughs> right. club it's drinking it's too it's i'm in the club drinking and somebody call me and they it's tell real. me they tell me. i'm like it's, right. it's no, real that's real. <laughs> that's real so yeah what was your first job i never had a job in a day in my life bar but but bar but it's only because of my situation. I've always wanted to work. When right. I was in group homes, I always told folks, put me in a group home where I can have a job and a phone. Gotcha. That way I can know what's up in That's the right. world. That's right. But they That's never right. gave me that. I was in lockdown mm -hmm. facilities. I was gotcha. in places you couldn't even go outside without them opening the door. I see. So it's like, it closed me off from the world. I don't know about these artists today. I don't know about Jeezy. I don't know about gotcha. a lot of people that everybody would know because they're so tapped into social media. I just got on social media for real at, at the age of 16. So it really was just you, the beat, and in your mind. In my mind. Just, I don't know about none of these artists. When people like, a lot of podcasts do like to ask questions about, oh, what do you think about the situation with Beyonce? I'm never, like, bro, I don't know. Me either. I heard we're not here for songs, that. Right? It's real. We're no. here for me, right? Come on, I don't that's know right. What doing. It, absolutely. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I never. So my thing is, I never. I'm never tapped into somebody else's life because I got. I know I got something bigger in my life coming on. Like I got to worry about me. Like I want y'all to know about me, and I want podcasts to be asking other people about that's my real. situation. Come on so now. let let me that. let me do things that way. People where, can talk about me. Right. I don't want to hear about nobody else. Legacy. Yeah, everybody like yeah. But, Beyonce and Rihanna are legends. Shout out to them, and right. I hope to work with them one day. Right. And I'm, I'm sorry that I don't know about them as much as people know. But no, it's it's also a good thing because that's a fact. No, I'm not yeah, like, like yeah, stand it, out, it, but I have the utmost respect because of really? their grind. I see they're the big, like they're the biggest. Of course, you had to grind to get there. You, there you go. So you're I look up to that. That's real. You're but, motivated by yeah. how they got there. Yes, not because I don't of pull why. Parts of your, your, your sound, I don't care about your, your relationships right. with whoever you're with, or these fake sex tapes, or some shit that's out, or just people talking. I don't care what people have to say. That's one thing your people purpose. got a problem with is giving a fuck about what people have to say. Wow. I don't care. I'm gonna do what I want, regardless. I'm gonna you're do not what here I want. for that. I'm not. I'm here for me. I'm here for. Yeah, I'm here for the people too. No, like, no, you're saying. At the end of the day, I'm not, here for the people, but here I'm not for... here to. I don't care about your business. Your business doesn't have nothing to do with me. Or my business got nothing to do with you. So I'm just here. We, you here? We just here. So let's be here and do this. No, <laughs> and do this something. and like you feel me? We're on a scale of the one through ten. What do you rate your current grind? A ten. Ain't nobody grinding like me. I promise you. That's a fact. That's because a fact. it took That's a fact. coming That's from a fact. somebody 
who been taken advantage of real young like okay. even by labels and other people in the industry just gotcha. taking advantage over me like mindset wise and controlling things even mm -hmm. my page controlling my page oh, wow. to this day Nate don't even control my gotcha. page he'll tell me what like what to say sometimes right, right. but he won't never tell me how to post exactly and cause only cause he see how I'm doing is right, right but right. it's like people like to control you and I don't I don't uh uh Not one thing I that. tell folks you don't own me God do that's a fact God owns me. He made me. You As, didn't create me. You didn't create my sound. You know of me. And you wow. like what you see. You like what you hear. So if you want to help, you can. But I don't trust nobody. Regarding so, yeah. Regarding your authentic yes. self. Yes. Like you weren't there. You weren't there from you, this day point. one. You weren't there. Like that's why in a sense, like that's why you're so driven in that sense. Yeah. You're like, no, I'm really locked in. It don't in. matter who it is. I don't care if you're the biggest of the biggest and everybody in the whole world know who you are i'm gonna be the one that's gonna be like i don't give a fuck who you are if your intentions aren't right or pure or it don't align with god's plan for me i don't care because you have integrity yeah and respect integrity. come on that's real that's real why why do you think people don't think like you do because they're not me why do you think people feel like they have to conform to this industry a lot of to, people are gather, followers. They're get, not leaders. They, they don't have self-motivation. They don't have, they didn't go. A lot of people have went through things and there's a lot of people who haven't went through shit at all. And mm. you just clueless. I, you I, don't know nothing. Like you got everything handed to you. You just don't know how to do nothing. Like, and then you got folks who've been through things that really fucked them up inside where they don't know what to do next. But they know they've been through some things. That's the people that dwell in what they've been through. Yeah, we all been through some things. I don't like, yeah, my story's tough, but your story could be tough too. Real. And I'm not the only one who went through things, but I am one of those victims. So when I tell people my story and they be like, oh, we all go through things. I'm like, okay, well, gotcha. I'm one of those victims gotcha. too. So I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to tell you, oh, I've been through this and this is why I'm here. No. Real. We all been through some things. Just don't dwell in it. Real. Just if you want to do something, do it. And in your part of not dwelling it is got me this far. I got a song. I got a song with the biggest in Atlanta right Come now. On now. Huncho. Huncho. That's real. That's a fact. <laughs> Come on. That's a fact. That's a fact. I didn't have to pay for it either. People see the grind. They, they see my motivation. They Come see on. how hard I'm going for it. And I'm gonna point this out. Name one white girl you know that got a song with Huncho. Wow. Or just some of the biggest artists that's in my category, even, like right, my style right, of music. Right. It's because of course you got Iggy, but she's Australian. I'm Irish, gotcha. but you know, real, she though. she's not like fully white. You know what I'm saying? Real. I don't, people don't call me like white country redneck, and I'll take it because it I am from the country. But it's like name one white girl you know that's grinding as hard as I am for her. I don't know. And the realest, like I'm gonna be real with you. Like I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. I'm not gonna hold my tongue. You don't care I'm about grinding. society's thought process on you, because. I know who I am. When you know who you are, none of that matters. You can say whatever. And most of the time, I be high as hell. I got a blunt <laughs> in my hand. So when people start talking shit, I be laughing with them. No, but that's real, sis. That's when, real. When a girl tell me, throw on my cowgirl boots, I said, look, wow. I didn't got none. Let me borrow yours. Really? <laughs> so, Bar. You know what I'm saying? Bar. Let me borrow yours. <laughs> no, that's real, though. Mia, so let me ask you. Your neck tattoo, mm. was that a big middle finger to society? It was. I know it was. And to... Somebody I was fucking with at the time with the label. I know it was. I know it was. A big fuck you to everybody because people paint this portrait and this image of me like they wanted to be something I wasn't. And then they try to categorize me like, oh, I think somebody was like, I saw you here. I think I saw you here. And I don't go places. Gotcha. You don't see me nowhere. Unless you see this big blue <laughs> stoplight sign, so, whatever you want to call so. it, barcode. You know how many jokes I get about no, this. But that's, People used to say, I got a barcode on my on my neck. Before I did this side, finished this side, it was just like a square, though. You know, like, you see how this is? Gotcha. It was like that on the other side, just open. So it looked like just like this, right? Gotcha. So, yeah. People be like, got a barcode on you. You ruined your neck. You did this. No, I branded myself. Real. I didn't put no tattoos on my face. I could have put snow on, went on my forehead, under my you, eye. Over my eyebrow, like every other girl in the hood, you know. I'm gonna does. say it on the integrity response. That neck tattoo one day will be as famous as Pharrell's wing tattoo on his neck. I'm saying it here now. It will. That is, some people have the image, the look, and that's why I said when I saw y'all, I was like, okay, Mia Snow gets it. Yeah, I get it. She gets it. Like, all right, 
I can't look, I can't go I can't go to McDonald's. I'm here for greatness. You know, just spoke to Nathaniel. Like I'm here for greatness, and yeah. I'm not allowing society's norms to mm-hmm. conflict with who I'm who I am. It's not yep. about the tattoo. It's about who I am. It's about the meaning behind it. There's another reason. When I go back to this is also for, you know, um, I don't I forgot the word, but you know, the suicide attempt p- girls and guys gotcha. and the kids um, that go through that. I have cut my neck when I was like. Gotcha. I was just trying. I just didn't want to be here. You I go through you. things where people just push you to that limit, yeah. and we all get pushed to that limit. But if you're not good with God, on, you're gonna fall, and the devil's gonna win. You can't let the wow. devil win. So one thing I did is I had I had some scars. Okay. It was red and everything. Like so, I just went to my tattoo man. Shout out to him. No cap tattoos. He's the Shout he's no the cap. best. Come on, that's he do sad. all my tattoos he now. Yeah, that's he's in Atlanta. For sure, for sure. He be traveling him. from Fayetteville, North Carolina, uh, North Carolina yeah. to dope, dope. out here, but that's he's based in Atlanta. And big shout out to him because without him, I wouldn't be able to do my brand as gotcha. the way I wanted it. Because right. I showed up one night and I was like, I want snow, the word snow <laughs> on me, but I don't know where to put it. So I started drinking Casamigos, started smoking. I'm like, you know what? Blast my neck right now. And I didn't know what was going on. That was God. That was some spirit in me like, do it. And I'm just like, where did this come from? And then when he was doing it, I'm like, am I making a mistake? I was procrastinating so bad. But when it got on my neck, I was like, oh Oh, yeah, I'm finna change the game. Come on, that's real. So I just kept getting it done. Now That's I got real. now I got another snowflake right here. I got a, mu- a music note. I got to finish this side. You know, it's coming together though. You know, I like people to be like, "Oh, I know I saw her there because I saw real. her neck tag." That's real. So people see me in you know sexy red music video. I was just a JJ's gotcha. fish and chicken shit, and uh, <laughs> so I coming out walking out from eating some fish, yeah. and, and a girl's like, "Yo." You was in you, you was in sexy wow, rap music video. On, I'm like, dope. I had probably that's a two dope. second that's scene dope. where I'm like, uh, wow. showing my neck, wow, and twerking part for like two seconds. <laughs> but you couldn't tell that wow. was me, the twerking gotcha. scene. But this part when I was just like, yeah, they knew it was me. Wow. And I'm like, wow, that one little cameo shot. Shout out to Dez Gray for that. Shout like, out Dez, Dez is my that's dog. Dope. That's what's up, definitely, man. People just be coming to me like, yo, yeah. I know it's you because of your neck, and I'm like. But yep. everybody has <laughs> no, like everybody has that. That's me. Everybody had, you know, all artists should have that thing. I want people to remember me. That's, that's what. Real. And I didn't want nobody to be like, I think I saw you there, and it was somebody else. Like, there's so many times people be like that, but I'm like, I know you saw me for if you see. Real. That's right. That's right. If you see this, respect. That's real for sure. About thirty seconds of your time. I really appreciate your support. With every interview, my aim is to bring integrity and fun back to the culture. And I can't do it without you. If you're enjoying this episode, please hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and hit the like button. It helps the algorithm. I appreciate you. Back to the interview. Welcome to the Integrity Response with your brother, CEO Kaki. Every individual sitting across from me doesn't believe in being typical, ordinary, but I know how familiar. stubborn of, a, of an artist and Many just a societies girl I was. Well like like them. They believe in raising but a girl, the bar a girl for themselves, that has like, I have family, tomboy energy. and for those that never meet. I, I can talk to guys all day. From those in humble beginnings to me, those in the midst of greatness. Like what they see. And but you know, it's like, <laughs> I can talk to anybody who got a girl. Bisexual to straight, like it can be stud, it could be, it's it's the it could be the integrity a feminine girl. And I can fit all lanes, like I know how to talk to everybody. No, like that contributed my from energy, being, yeah. Like, yeah, around a lot of different people. A lot people. of different people. Like, That's real. The different of the differentest. Right. And right. I'm just like, I'm open to all kinds of people. I love, I love from the hippies right. to the to the nuns. I'm, I love you. That's real. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, no, that's right. God, God. Children. Everybody. Like, as long that's as you're right. a good person, I Come fuck on. with you. Like, it don't matter what you do. It don't matter anything. Real. I just, as long as it's good. Real. <laughs> I don't, I don't fuck with evil. I don't, I don't mess with people that do evil anyway like there's a lot of people that do voodoo or gotcha. like i don't mess with that type of stuff i don't judge you as a person but what you do i don't fuck with you know what real, i'm saying like you real. could be a cool ass person but at home you do some voodoo that's on folks real. now for those who do voodoo please don't put me don't make a doll of me i'm good people that's i don't real. need you sticking no doll it, no, no pins in a doll <laughs> no seriously no because like even with you and the thing cool. no you and the thing both of y'all energies <laughs> You wouldn't gravitate towards him unless he didn't have a good energy. Yeah. He wouldn't gravitate towards you. I'm very big on energy get, and auras. Fact. People always tell fact. me I have a great aura that's and right. that, you know, I'm a very sweet person. I'm very genuine. 
I don't like that sweet word because people because pe- people take advantage, advantage. of that. Advantage. I'm is genuine, weakness. but I will spaz. I'll knock all this <laughs> shit over right now, type shit. Don't don't piss me off. But at the end of that, I'll be like, you oh, know what? Oh no! Oh no! Yeah! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that's real, though, sis. That's I'm real. Just no, I'm just saying. Like, but you are. That's the Aries in me, my bad. But then I just be Aries in. No, but okay. I, then I think about what you said, you know, early on, you know, uh, you know, you held your own in, you know, vocally. Yes. Like, yeah, I wanted to be a lawyer. You know, the sense of I held my own. I can speak I up for myself. I still could be a lawyer. Real though, I speak Sing, up for myself. Singing in the courthouse, like, oh no, oh no, <laughs> he going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> That's real though. But no, nah, if I was a lawyer, I'd be on the criminal side. Gotcha. Because right. Because gotcha. look, you kill somebody, there had to be a reason why. Gotcha. I'm that type of person. If I do something, there was a reason. There was a reason. I was never a bad kid. Mm. There was a reason to everything. So there's a reason. Cause and effect. Cause <laughs> yes. and effect. That's real. No matter what you did, there was a reason. reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me ask you this: What's something you learned about in the last year? What's something you learned about those around you? around me everybody's just different yeah. what i learned is you can't go off uh say say somebody says something to piss you off or does something that irritates you You can't go out by that one time you gotta mm. you, you gotta observe you gotta really? sit back and observe people nowadays you this generation is so different from old school and, and just that's a fact past generation each generation is gonna get like gonna be different that's right that's next right. generation like 2020 Five, it's That's gonna be fact. different. It's gonna be everybody, it's probably gonna be a flying semi truck. Real, by then, That's you know real. what I mean. It's real. <laughs> so it's like you really just gotta sit back and observe and see how people are. That that way you know how to move. It, That's right. It never really falls into line like who they are for real. It just gotta like you know how they move. Right. It's never who you are. It's how you move. Because you could be, like I said, you could be one of the greatest. But if you move wrong, I don't give a fuck. You Bye. S- Get you- out my face. Get out my session. I don't want you here. You study. I do. Every I didn't any, get to study in school. No, you study so people I study around now. everybody. Yeah. You study so everybody study people. around yeah. you. That's a gift. Yeah, I never studied in school, so you know, I gotta use that. That's real, but you in the real world though. You walked in here and you studied this entire room. Didn't I you? did. I peeped the vibe and I'm like, hmm, what are we gonna talk about today? You, and I was like, it's professional. I like it. It's very like comforting. But, but I can, you but answer you, your questions real, which, but you yeah. know you know like i i'm observant from every mm-hmm. aspect of when you, i walked in you already knew my whole life i'm like <laughs> hey i don't remember saying nothing about no curry chicken and he only talking about curry chicken and shit I'm like when did i talk about curry chicken it's real it was on a i think i'm not sure you you've done a lot of interviews i have but i don't I remember do my homework. nothing about curry chicken i do my homework and i'll, I'll let you know for sure which one it was I you sure may have saw me posting something <laughs> no, about it no, I'm you, no. <laughs> it was something for, no for sure it was an interview it shout out to golden crest come on up <laughs> that's sponsorship i know you yep. know but what, let me ask you this while we're doing that what's something outside of music when Mia Snow was a multi-millionaire, what's some things you want to do with your craft, with your gift, with your finances that you would help give back or open up or what's that thing you would do? Would it be a spot, you know, like rest? What would I've you do? I've got like three ideas so far. I've got hella ideas, but, you know, I'm a little faded. So I only got three <laughs> on my mind right now. Gotcha. But one of them, I'm going to go ahead and say I've always had a passion for the homeless because I was homeless before like many times. Young too, like 16, gotcha. 17, just outside posted up at gotcha. five points, the West End wow. Mall, charging my phone in the mall. Wow. But I ain't had nowhere to live. Gotcha. I was just outside thugging with everybody. So... But yeah, gotcha. I want to give like the homeless people. I just want them to all have a house. So, just, Real, right? The, the caring in me, the the nurture, the nurture in me, the somebody that never gave me a home. The person in me wants to give everybody in the world a home. Real. Because I know it's like not having not a home it. or just family. Like I yeah, I've had I've had everybody's family before. Like gotcha. I've had, I probably like. I've had somebody else's mom be my mom, but it wasn't my mom. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like, I never had somebody for myself. I never had a home. I could be like, this is my home. Gotcha. So it's like the inner like the inner child in me just wants everybody to, to have be, a home and be well, uh, stable and love. And then the other thing is the foster kid, the child side, where it's like, I want to give back to all the foster kids. Like, even if it's just clothes, if it's just like knowledge. Like, yeah, I ran from every group home and I don't condone like i don't talk like i wouldn't tell no kid oh yeah you should run because that's how i am here i am today no i ran because every group home i was in was very bad 
Wow. It was like some things going on, and I would say something about it, and they wouldn't listen. Gotcha. So me, I would tell them, stick it out as long as you can. And if you can't, do what you need to do. Real. But move smart. Wow. You know, like not everybody can do what I do and end up how I am. So it's like, that's why I'm like, don't run, but make sure you have with, like, if you know you want to be somebody and you know you want to do something in life, do what you got to do to get to it. So my version, I had to run. I stuck it out. Like, don't get me wrong. I stuck it out like four months to see what it was about. But when things started going wrong, I had to go because it wasn't meant for me to be there. Do you feel like you're the voice? Of what? Like, of like, you know, pain. I say I'm the voice of pain. I make a lot of pain music too that I haven't put out in the world yet, but I have one of my songs called No Friends that's going to be dropping on my album soon. Come on. And it's coming out on my birthday. I was about to say, this is April the 10th. 14th. 14th. That's what's up. Come on now. Come on. That's don't even up. do that. <laughs> no. I don't know whose birthday is the 10th, but it's not me. April my the birthday's 14th. the 14th, and my album 14th. will be dropping, dropping on, on the 14th. 14th. But my up. release is on the 13th. And what is the title? Uh, it's called Cold Summers. Cold Summers. Yes. Dope. Cold Summer, yeah. Wow. But yeah, my third reason too, the the third thing I want to do, like to invest, of course, I'm going to go to group homes. I'm going to go to like right. all the homeless people, but everybody goes, I feel like everybody always talks about the homeless, but they don't mean it. Gotcha. So when I said, I do mean it, by the way. And then um, the third one was, I do want to open my own studio because I have a lot of artists. Gotcha. And since I know how to engineer, you know, every now and then I might engineer somebody but that's gonna cost way more if i gotta do it because you know i'm gonna be big i'm gonna be bigger by then at that moment so if you want snow to engineer you that's gonna cost gotcha but you can come to my studio book the studio that's gonna be like reasonable prices but it's not gonna be just a recording studio it's gonna be something where you can do everything all in one it's gonna be like workshop yeah straight up workshop like straight up dancing there's gonna be one where you can like do your choreography there could be something for like the strippers in one in one place just doing some pole work or you know just Art, an art room where people can paint. Gotcha. Just anything all at once. It's going to be that big where it's like even the studio part has soundproof. And gotcha. if somebody's recording one day, Clear you're not even going to know. That's like, real. You're not going to hear them recording while you're dancing to your song. And you can blast your music that's as dope. loud as possible that's without dope. police just being like, you got to turn shit. it right. down. That's a fact. All no, this shit. That's, it's my shit. That's turn real. that shit up. That's real. That's turn real. it up. <laughs> that's what's up. Definitely. Definitely. So yeah, That'll I definitely want to open my own studio be because I have so many artists on my page wow. that look up to me too. So it's like, I want y'all to be at my shit too because that way I can tell you ideas. I can give you like just pointers and I just want to help. Like and then be I never on. got the help. Gotcha. So I want to be the help. You know? Every now and then people might help me. Like kudos. Like I can say there's a lot of people that did help me when I was on the run but they ended up leaving in my life. So it was like why did you come around just to leave? But do you so, feel like they were a part of the story that almost was like okay I yeah, this 18 God months, sends, 12 months. Like sometimes it's just just enough God sends people for a reason and in a season, and some people were sent for a season. Real. And then those are there for the reason, they're still here to this day. Real. But those that were there for a season, they was there for the help. They was just, you know, if I needed to be fed a couple right. times, people have sent me money right. to eat. When I had nowhere to go, there's places I did end right. up having a pillow and a couch to sleep on. Gotcha. You know, just shit like that. And there's people that are here to this day from when I was like 16 years old or just they're around but not to hang around they just always been around to make sure like oh you're good and like from a a distance too because they're far and i'm just doing me all the time like taking care of me so it's like when i'm to that it's like when i'm stable in all points of aspects like financially and shit i'm gonna get back to those who are still around those who left Fuck you. I ain't gonna cat. I don't care if you gave me $20 to eat. And if you left, fuck you and your $20. That's real. real (laughs) But if you stuck around, I got you. Just stay tuned. (laughs) You're right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's get into your track. Let me get into your track. Oh, no. My viral song at the moment. Do you know you're sitting on platinum? Oh, yeah. I you believe know that, it. You know that song. I is, just don't know if I've taken it in yet. I believe that it can get that level. The song is out of here. <laughs> don't give up on that song. I'm not. The song is. The video is perfect. It's a. It, it feels like what it feels like is authentic. Yeah, just real fun summertime. I'm with my gang. We chilling. We like. It just feels great. Everybody can't do that. They have to go in put on and all the extra stuff that song is i literally amazing. put on a hoodie that my plug gave me because <laughs> he's like hey <laughs> he had his own little brand for a second right, he's right. not pushing it at the moment but the hoodie i had on in the video it said 
Fuck the fed. Wait, stack your bread, fuck the fed. <laughs> so in the song, song I said, right. stacking so up bread, bread for the feds. feds is just how it goes. Oh wow. no, but I changed it to stacking up bread for the feds. Because you know, we, we're always. Feds, how it goes. Yeah, oh, no. we're always stacking up bread for the system. Wow. Like we always having to give the system that's our right. money. That's so right. that's why I said that too. In, that's in just how way. it goes. That's real. Oh no. <laughs> that song is the perfect link to. If I still I, I felt like I wanted a second I was like no that's perfect and it's people the, tell me they wish it like it, where's the second feels, verse but it's like it's, I want you to run it back that's what you're <laughs> for that's why I put somebody on a remix folks that's what you're forced to do though and guess who's you're on a remix to, Erica up. Banks did not know that you didn't on, know no, Erica Banks up. Yo! Did not know that. Erica Banks is on the remix. I let her get on it. And we have a history. We go way back. So you already have a track before together. No. Okay, gotcha. We just know each other. That's dope. Yeah, from when I was like 18. Gotcha. It's like been like two, three years now. And um That's dope. She used to sit in a couple sessions because at the time I had a ghostwriter that, you know, she was they was, you know. Okay. So he was around like all the time watching what I do and sometimes she would pull up to the sessions right. or she'd be on FaceTime and be like hey Erica but back then I mind you I was closed off from the world so I didn't right. even know that she was popular for Bussin the gotcha. track Bussin and yeah. I and I would see that song all over TikTok wow. but I didn't even know who she was and I was just like happy that she was there like you know so when I see like when I learned about and I heard that she, oh she's this big of a person I'm like oh wow like this that's crazy because right. I don't even know nothing about anybody wow Closed off so from the really world. We really are closed off. Like we was. Really just... We didn't have no social media. We was blocked on all social media. Wow. We couldn't get on YouTube at that. I had to download. Like there was days they would let us download songs off a of computer, but off of the therapist computer. Like we had wow. a therapist. I hate going to counseling, but gotcha. <laughs> but no no shades of the therapist. Right. I probably need you now. I'm a, <laughs> I need you now. Gotcha. <laughs> but but then I was so stubborn. I didn't care about no therapist really? for real. I was ready to download some beats on my MP3 player because that's all we could have was like a little MP3 player. Wow. And I would download the beats and just write in a book, write a song. Was there anybody else that was in the with you that actually uh, made music? Record? Yeah. A lot of people okay, was dope. like, "Oh, I make music. I know okay. how to rap." And I'm like, mm. <laughs> "We gonna see." <laughs> How well you do mm -hmm. when we get out of this group home. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me see where you at when we get out of this group home. Then gotcha. I'm then I'm gonna know if you made music for Real. or you just doing shit cause we in this group home. You always knew you was destined for it. Yeah. And you I knew. never hated on nobody. I just knew who I was. And I it seems like it's a trend gotcha. to do music now. Gotcha. Like it's so annoying to me. It's a trend to do it. You can literally blow off just like I'm a, I'm gonna just say the the girl, period ah, period, uh, period. Who the hell let somebody like that get famous? And we'll always remember her. Because that's of that. The craziest because Cardi part. B did it. Shout out to Cardi B, you know. But I'm gonna get a song with you one day. One day. But, <laughs> no shame. but Cardi E had that's to, real, he had to <laughs> period every ah, no. Period no. No, that's what I said. Was period no. And then everybody <laughs> wanted to do songs. But with then her. I made. Then you got like me making real, real music, music, and it gets overlooked. Like no, you know what I? I, mean, so I come to the conclusion: overlooked. nobody it's likes not. real. They're uh, they're offended by realness. Because wow. when I speak on and I tell people, just like whatever comes to my mouth, I'm gonna say it. No disrespect to anything. I'm gonna say whatever comes to my mind because that's the real. That's the real me. Like there's no barrier. There's and no people don't filter. like that. People like getting told what they like to hear. They like being told things that. Go ahead, say it. Say it. Don't even matter for real. Like it's just like people like to listen. Why do you to think things. people are like that? Because they're slow. <laughs> Why do you think people want this filter on life when it's not real? They try to paint a picture like everything's good and everything's fine and dandy, but it's not. Like the real is you suck. You what? might be trash at music. Somebody telling you not because they don't want to hurt your feelings. feelings. Like feelings. Hurt feelings. You need to you need to hurt people's feelings now. They said they can be like, look, let me go harder then. Thank people you. People hurt my feelings all the time. Like I remember my foster mom at the time. She was like, I was off beat. I am I was one of those white girls that was <laughs> off beat when it comes to music. <laughs> I was just over there rapping over like whatever, right. trying to. And they would be like, she would be like, no. 
That's not That's it. That's not it. You're trash. <laughs> Me hearing I'm like, I don't want to be trash. I'm already a foster kid. Shit. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> honesty though. So I was like, you know what? Let me get better. <laughs> but people don't have a good heart. People that aren't positive. They always they're like, oh, I'm trash. Well, now I'm gonna fight you, and we finna go to jail. Yep. <laughs> Why? Or or I'm trash. I'm forget you. You, you hating. Yeah, you hate. No, I'm telling you, you're trash right now. You could be the be biggest. You could be tomorrow. the biggest. Tomorrow. What I'm telling you should always be something you take in and be like, okay, wow. bet. Let me go harder because I'm gonna tell you what's up each time. If I don't fuck with it, I'm gonna tell you, look. No. Is you got to do something different. Is it important to have somebody around you honest like that? Are you that honest I don't friend? Need, I don't need nobody around me telling me nothing. Because you, I've had literally people around me that I called the closest. And they would let let me have something on my face. How are you going to let me walk around places? And I got something right here. Wow. Or in my tooth. Afraid to hurt your feelings. Like, Tell me, tell me, tell me, I stink. If I stink, let me know. So I would embarrass myself. <laughs> that don't happen though. No, I smell really good. Right. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but I'm saying, but you want YSL, that. YSL, by the way. Well, come on now, right now. <laughs> the original. Right, you yes, know, uh, come well, on now. You know, I wear Libre. Li, 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 YSL Libre. I always now, smell YSL it. Be it. Now, YSL Libre. Yeah, no, yeah, in, yeah, in the Gucci yeah, classic. Come on. Now, come on. <laughs> classic. But now, good. that's real. People are afraid to tell people yeah. things. Like, why are you afraid? What is she going to do? Oh, she going to punch you because you say she stink? You need to put some deodorant on. So many people wow. come around me with no deodorant. And I be having to keep my mouth closed just because of who I am and how somebody may feel. Just have... because I tell them, like, this generation is so soft. They're too soft for me. Wow. People are just too soft. Even the guys are too soft. You I can't even said... tell a guy nothing without them. Oh, well, I just feel like this. Like, why Why are you feeling anything? Wow. Let me just tell you what's wow. up. Stop feeling and just listen. <laughs> Stop feeling anything. Just listen to me. Wow. If you would listen to this little white girl, you would get through life <laughs> easier. <true>. But you, you, you <laughs> said earlier. I'm five foot tall. But no, just you listen said to earlier me. that you were always the, the young kid with the older mentality. Yeah, I did. How do you feel now? I feel I, I still feel older. <laughs> I Does still it bother like, you? I still it don't bother me. It do kind of, but not really. It just makes me more advanced and like wants me to be around people that are still older. Like I Mature. don't want to be around nobody that's 19, 20 years old. Like what do you have for me that I need? Nothing. I'm already like mindset wise, oh, yeah. I'm gone. I'm already over that. Like I've been there, done that. I'm done. In this music <laughs> industry, recording artists, you know touring in the studio if not in the studio creating vibes listen to the production are you actively right now dating i am open to it but in um it's just the fact that i don't want to like i'm not scared but like i'm just like no, I'm not ready to keep losing people in my life i got That's a true. bigger like i got a career now back then I was used to everybody leaving. Like, yeah, I'm used to it. I'm used to somebody leaving. Like, you could be here for a month, like a week to a month, and then leave right out there. And I'm used to it. like, oh, oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Gotcha. But now it hits a lot harder because it's like back then I knew why everybody left. Like now it's like why? Gotcha. Like you see what I'm doing? Was you would you just around to get a look? Was you just around because? Of course, you like what you see, but gotcha. it's like, why were you around if you were just going to leave? Does why? That, does that make it hard, you know, in a sense of, you're not normal, you're a lyricist, mm -hmm. you're a creative, and you're an artist. I think a lot. I overthink. And you wear your heart on your sleeve, like every artist that walks through this door. Does that create a barrier? And not only that, but because of the fact that you've, you know, what you've been through as well, you like, you're like really guarded. I'm cautious. Like, really I got guarded. so much, like my guard is up. I can't be vulnerable to nobody and because I when I say I got like guy energy it's because I'm I'm aggressive and not aggressive like no, I physically no, but I know I know assertive. you know what I, yeah assertive there you go and people want that like oh I'm a soft girl right, I want to get to that you know I want Real. but it got to be the right person because if you just vulnerable and you just soft to every guy that come around doing things for you you just kindness some, and weakness. you just a bitch That's like you just you, you just Every everybody can yeah everybody can 
get oh, okay. over on you right. or That's just real. or just you know you say, say to anything skin. to you somebody can tell you something like say if i was that vulnerable girl you could be like you could tell me something that i want to hear and, be, and i would actually believe mm -hmm. it and i'm like now somebody can tell me something i'm just like i don't believe shit you say for what i don't i don't believe nothing i just gotta take that risk on like i don't trust nobody well, it took a lot for me to even trust nate gotcha because he's another male right coming along trying to take control over my fucking career this is i was very guarded when he came around I know. but when it come to guys wanting to be with me and everything it's the it falls in the same place i'm like yo you gotta know what i went through to know to why i am how i am and if you Real. that offends you because i'm so strong-minded i'm so like determined to make sure everything's like fall in place with me i'm old school you can't i'm gotcha. not into poly relationships gotcha. i'm not into gotcha. oh we gonna fuck with each other one day. I'm gonna fuck right, with somebody else in it. Gotcha. No. As soon as an argument happened, I'm out the door. We're not married, but in the day, yeah. you know what right from wrong. Right. And if you, I have to have a man to fear God. Like on, if so you're not somebody real. who fear God, I don't want to deal with that's you. Because if you don't fear God, you don't fear nothing. You just and you don't and you're easily and you, tempted. There you go. And you don't. You have no integrity. You're not a, you're no not a man's respect man. No respect for women at that. I'm used to, I ain't gonna cap, I'm used to abusive relationships gotcha. verbally and physically. Physically in every one of them I was in. I was in like three relationships my whole life. But yeah, I've dealt with folks. Yeah. But relationship-wise, I was in three. And they were all abusive, like physically and mo like mostly verbally. So I'm used to that type of thing. So when somebody shows me different, I'm scared of that. Like, gotcha. I don't know how to deal with it. But I do take a risk to find out what you it's like have to yeah sometimes. i have to i have to see what it's like but you know people put on a good show that's a fa people put on the infatuation stage people will put on the let me know. make her believe i'm this way and i'm actually this way and i'm like you know what i don't need you does me i want you to know that i don't need you see herself being married one day i am a strong believer of marriage Come on, sis. That's weird. i am one of those we have to get married like i'm not in that boyfriend girlfriend long like oh you're gonna be my girlfriend forever I'm not going to be somebody's baby mama. Real. I ain't got no kids right now. I am real. team fuck them kids until <laughs> I have them things. That's real. But I love kids. I, I, know I, I used you to wanted... babysit all the time when I was young, like 16, 17 babysitting. I loved it. Like the energy from kids. You know the love is real when it comes from a kid. Like real. that's the only that's real love. Like people can lie to you all day. Kids lie. But when it comes to them, like hug you out of nowhere. You, kids don't even. Innocence. Innocent. Like you just like, giving me a hug. Like you love me. You know what I'm real. saying? Real. But innocent like, love like children. Children. You want the you want the horse I want to come before the car. Stable. When yeah. you're stable, when I'm stable, man. I gotta have my own shit before yeah. I have a kid. Cause there ain't no way I'm gonna be with somebody and they gonna kick me out of, of a crib though. and we got a baby together. No, we ain't doing that. I'm gonna make sure I got my own crib, my own everything, like everything. It don't That's matter real. what it is. I don't want to have to ask nobody for nothing unless that. But I do, I do believe in men being the man of the house. That's like right. I am independent. And that is good and bad. Because when it comes to guys, I got to let a man be a man, even though sometimes I'm like, I'm the man. Because ain't saying, no man ever showed me how to be a man before. Sis, so I got to be a man. That's You're saying something. Like, women often have to take on the man duties. Because in this generation, I'm just going to go ahead it's and different. say, go you're ahead. sassy, you're too soft, you're too emotional. What the fuck are you emotional for just because I ain't an answer a phone call or I, I ain't. I was going to say that too, being in the public eye, Mia Snow, who is seen by a lot of men, that man has to be a very secure man. It has man to be somebody to, who's going to protect. That real. That has to know what he's dealing with. Yeah, especially you got to also protect that inner child in me because the inner child in me may come out one day and I'm, I have my ways of being insecure about situations. I'm not an insecure girl because I know who I am. Real. I know what I look like. I know what I draw in. I know the attention I get. I know I'm not ugly. Uh, no, I don't think I'm the best looking, but I don't think I'm ugly. So it's like, I know I'm not insecure. And I'm very positive every day, like through anything I go through, even if it's negative. I may have a moment, but I always snap out of it in like five minutes or something. Gotcha. So it's like, they have to be very protective over my inner child that gotcha. may come out in, in situations like, oh, you texting another bitch? Oh, let me let, let me get out of that mic. Like I'll be like that, but I'll be like, oh no, I, you haven't given me a reason to think like that. So let me. Just, I'm just guarded. You're proactive in. Like I just feel like what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. Real. And people just feel like nowadays, if you do something wrong, it's still right. No, 
What is what is fucking with two girls at the but, same time? <laughs> means what? Just be. You know what I'm saying? Like it's if it's real, two things are for certain: that phone wouldn't be locked, mm-hmm. and you wouldn't have to. Mm-hmm. There's two things that's for real, mm-hmm. and that's when you know it's real. That's when you, you know. know. What I'm saying, but yes, it's, you've been in Georgia, no Atlanta for this, the last five years. Yeah. How has the city embraced Mia Snow on her journey here so far? Good and bad. Like, these people at first out here, I was always running around the streets saying I did music, even though I had no music to show for, nothing to show for. I'm like 16, 17, like, oh, I do music. I got nothing to show. (laughs) So they're like, oh, wow, okay. And then, of course, I may have like one or two songs I recorded on Band Lab that didn't even sound that okay. good, but that was okay. Gotcha. And I, I had a couple people that would play it, but I recently, like not recently, but when I was 17, due to me just being out here doing the music, at 17, I got jumped by two guys and a stud. Mm-hmm. And um, well, a wannabe stud, because every now and then she would like put on a wig if she had to do would. something with somebody <laughs> to get some money. And I will put her on blast because... At the end of the day, you did something to me. Wow. You're going to reap what right. you sow. So at the end of the day, that person and those two guys, they jumped me wow. for no reason at that. I knew the stud. I knew her for like a year or something. And they just jumped me. Wow. They took my phone, my clothes, the shoes off my feet. Like, what you want with my clothes? I'm a girl. You're a guy. Like, you don't even wow. wear the same things I wear. You just wanted to take something. And I had nothing for nobody to take. I had no money. I was on the run at the time from group homes. Like. Wow. But money that I have, I was out there getting taken care of by other people. Right. So it was just the fact that when they did that and it was like, yo, the stud used to actually just put me on her lot. Like we'd go live on her page on Facebook right. at the time and she'd play my song. And so it's like, you did that, but you just jumped me. Wow. Like y'all jumped me, all three of y'all. Is that part like I was this 17. Is- Five foot tall. You don't need to jump me. You can push me. I'm a... Why? Ah. Why do people... What's... What... Like, is that... I feel like... There's no reason why they did it. Like, what... You didn't get nothing out of me, for one. Like, it was just a bunch of bums doing... Bum Bum shit. shit. Like... And I I realized God was just telling me, you don't need need to to be be there. You you don't. And a lot of people like to to use situations like that. And they try to say, oh, why God didn't get me out of it? He did. He he was there during uh, during the whole time too. That's Damn. the devil's work at the end of the day. So God was there holding my hand, making sure I didn't die. That's real. He was there making sure, yo, you're strong. Don't 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 black out. Don't don't you know? Wow. Clock out yet? And I wanted to clock out. It it was hurt. Like it was hurting when I got jumped. What did you What did you learn about like? You know, and, and you know, you're saying I'm thinking from the past, but you're saying this is, you know, this is removed four or five years. Like, what what do you learn about people? Was literally like four years, literally four, like three and a half years ago. I was I I got jumped. That's not a long time. As fast as these years have been going by, that's not a long time. It was just 2024 yesterday. I mean, 2023 yesterday. Now look, it's April almost. So it's like pretty much, pretty much, tomorrow, yeah. Right. <laughs> so it's like. Wow. It's not that long ago that this happened to me. So with that mindset, I'm just like, yo, that's crazy how your life can change and the people you're around. And now you don't deal with, now it's... I don't deal with people energy, like that. The energy is different. Like you said, I don't have friends. Like, you know, mom I said, I don't have... I don't have, have friends for that reason, too, because... Like... Because you try to ignore that advice a little bit. You tried to... I almost died when I got jumped, too, because one of the guys took the knife out my bag and tried to stab what? me in the face. Like, that was one of the moments that opened my eyes in that situation because I carried a knife around to prevent situations right. like that, but I didn't think the people I was around was going to do that. And, it, and, you know, when that situation happened with that girl that died from getting jumped out of country from, I forgot her name, um, she died from getting jumped by her friends um, out of country. They went on a trip. Yes, this was I, in Mexico. She, yes. It was like, she, yes. Something with an S. Yes. And shout out to her. I this forgot, I forgot her name. End of 2022. I remember this. Yes. And it just reminded me of my situation. I literally got jumped. And if I would have stayed any longer, I would have been stabbed in the face if that if one person didn't say nothing. Because people were there. It wasn't just them three. It wow. was people. And let me tell you something. A girl actually from a group, the last group home I was in was there recording the situation. Wow. Like part of their group. And she took my shoes off my own feet. Imagine having to beg somebody for your own shoes. 
so you'd have something to walk and like yeah they took everything else but let me just have my shoes back so wow. i can walk on the street or something like so yeah she was there she was younger than me too so it was like yo you younger than me doing all this like just trying to fit in with these people wow. but it's like shorty you was a fan in a group home wow. you was always trying to follow up to me and be a friend and i was cool as hell. i was always cool to you but it was like you recorded me when that happened and then it opened my eyes oh, yeah. like I don't have no friends because it is like fuck you. You not a friend. And now you're driven. Now you don't. Now I don't care to have no friends. Care. If you're around, like, you're around. You're around. If you're, you're not, not, you're not. not. Like I'm not, it don't phase me. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna see me for the rest of your life, way. though. Wow. You're gonna see me for the rest of your bar. life. That was a bar. That was a bar. So I don't care if you're with me or not. You're and going to see. We me. spoke on that earlier too, like in a sense of like that motivates you. And not just saying the the poison, the, the the hurtful, all that. No, like my past motivates me for a better future. Yeah, no excuses. I talk about it to motivate others, but I don't, I don't ever use my pain and my past as an excuse. I use it as motivation. And which why your lyrics come off the way they do. They do, because of that reason. Who on earth knows you the best? Nobody but God. Wow. A person changes every day. So. Wow. You the per the person that people knew back then, I'm not her. She's dead. Like wow. she was killed a long time ago. That person was depressed all the time. That person was lost and didn't have nobody at all. I have people now. I have I'm a I have a closer relationship to God. It's I have myself now. Like at the end of the day, I'm not lost. I was found. I was. When you didn't I, have yourself you were looking for people I was looking that for yourself, that love you, from others and to this day him. maybe when it comes to men I, I do have that problem because of course I don't know who my dad is like I don't know who that man is I don't know who made me with my biological mom at the moment I don't know who that man is and so I do look for that and guys I be like oh I do got daddy issues when people you. be like oh she got daddy issues it's not a joke to me like I, I don't you. know who the fuck my dad is so if I look for that type of love from a man I expect that man to be like not a father for you because for the figure because that's weird but a a man's a man with authority a, like a, yeah a, power that's real because that's I'm, real um every woman looks for a man yeah. no that's 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 not that's not just you every woman looks for a man with authority there's not that in, a, in this generation i'm not gonna say all men are the same but majority of men have had the same traits like there could be different people but they're all the same person just in different bodies real. like Show me something different. Like that's why really? I don't that's why I think a lot of girls turn to girls too, because wow. these men just don't have you know Not like this. Unless you actually like <laughs> like girls. So that's cool too. But I was just saying, that's like, real. a lot of girls turn to g girls at the end of the day. I know somebody that went gay after gotcha. after, after a relationship with men just because it was just enough right, for her. Like enough. I'm enough. I'm done. And she's actually wow. very happy in her relationship with that girl. Gotcha. And that it it means a lot. To me hearing that because i know her and like it's just i'm glad she could find that type Happiness, of love because real. guys haven't showed her that type of love so gotcha. yeah so with me i i do want a man though real. I, That's like, real. like somebody because sure. i'm i feel like if i i was with a girl i'd be too a great like too i don't even know like <laughs> i can't do it as many times as I, I don't even i know what you said i get into it with girls like you. girls don't like me in yeah. general like there may be some that like girls that like me but then there's those that like the the bitches that are jealous over me they're just gotcha. like yo i don't i just try not to fuck with females because gotcha. for that reason like don't i don't need no energy. jealous shit you see real. what i got going i don't gotcha. need you trying to be around me just because you just see what i know real that's why the person i gotta be with they gotta already have their shit together like know who they are and what they do That's in life like you it could, has to be a you could be the the president basically as, like but it can't be no artist i'm not dating an artist gotcha no i'm the artist in the relationship gotcha that was a question i was going to ask you too ask gotcha. it anyway that's real so it's that's why i said in a sense you um it's different dealing with a female artist it's not an r&b artist in so many regards it's you, your subgenre is is li really hip hop futuristic. R there you go. I name it like there you magical, real, majestic in a way because my my voice is different. For one, I speak on different things. Like I just feel like it's magical. Like gotcha. when you hear my music, you're gonna feel good. That's a fact. There's gonna be no reason why you should be like, uh, 
let me go listen to something else. Real. You're going to want to know what I have to say at the end of the day. Even if it's just me saying some funny shit, you're going to want to know what I say because anything I say is real. It's real. Don't you want to know so what's real? real? Like With the gimmicks? People, people, it's like people put on a show. I ain't got to put on nothing. Like, it's real. I'm going to put on, I, let me tell you something. I can put on anything I wear. I'm going to use clothes as an example. I don't even use a mirror when I get dressed. You are different. I just put something on. I have a bathroom mirror, of course, whenever I, you know, it's just a little square so I can see my makeup, but I don't even use a mirror. Not just because I don't have one, but because. You are different. You just. You like got to believe in yourself. Or Integrity. I just throw something on. I'm like, this going to work today. <laughs> this is this is what's going to work. And it could be. That's just how it goes. People be like, oh, my God, I love your outfit. And I'm like, I ain't even use a mirror. <laughs> I don't even know what I look like. Even th- I don't know what your you see right now. Is, your confidence is. I do have a lot like, of that. That's real. You don't care. I love. I love tapping in with artists, man, because you guys are the. Y'all We're artists. Yeah, you are the like. You're what this world is afraid to be. Yeah, They're I know. I'm gonna. To be. I'm gonna be a lot of. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be a big threat coming in the game as well because one thing, everything is real on me from body. To mindset, to how I move, I remember you spoke on that how too. I think. That's real. That's real. So yeah, I'm a big threat coming in the game. Ain't nothing about me fake. Real. Outside of music. Except for these lashes. <laughs> My lashes are in fact blonde, <laughs> and you can't see them. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> That's real. They're me, not black. <laughs> let me ask you this: What would you What would you change about this world, just from your lens? <sighs> if I had it my way. Everybody would just do good. There would be no hate. There would be nothing. It would just be basically heaven. Because when we all get to heaven, that's when life is going to be great. Come on. We're going to have a new body. We're going to have no negative, intrusive thoughts. Thoughts. Nothing. I'm not going to feel pain. I could, like, accidentally scratch myself on the gold table up there in heaven. And nothing's going to (laughs) show. Probably. It might might be a scratch, but it might be fucking. It could be, like. (laughs) You glitter see, come on it could be a glitter like my scratch instead of blood the blood will be glitter Absence like pain. i just want life to be good you know gotcha. people always say life is good but is it though that's the question is it good for real though is your life good enough like to your standards there's no such thing as a standard or to your expectations right. like is your life good for real like people be like life is good is it is it really though there's so much bad going on in this it's a cruel world so is life good for real wow it's not you gotta make it good you gotta gotta make make it it. you gotta do what you you can only do so much though when there's like imagine just it's just little old me and like billions of other people doing like bad in this world and i'm the only one doing good the bad is gonna overall the good but god god sees it all but then at the end of the day the good always wins. Always prevails. So always. even if I'm the only one out of a quadrillion people doing good, I'm a win at least. That's I'm not fact. following behind the next person that's doing that. That's bad. You know, it, whatever it is that doesn't fall in line with God's plan. Come on. It just ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm here for the good. Wow. Not here for the bad at all. Like I don't. I not. And I know. I know when something's bad. Like my my gut. My. My mind just speak to me like you built that up. That's real. That's real. You built that up. That's a fact. Everybody don't have that. Like some people I know happy go lucky. I know it's bad for me. People, but here's the thing: people do actually know what's bad for them. They don't care. They do it anyway, or they wow. or just, they just let it happen to them because that's what's going on now. Wow. Me, I'm like fuck that. I don't give a fuck if the whole wild world is doing the same thing. Let me be different. Let me do something else. Let me change it. I want the good out of it, y'all. Everybody just following after the next. Be a leader. Be a leader. Do something. If somebody's over there throwing back like 80 shots, getting dumb drunk somewhere, are you going to do it too just because it looks fun and you just going through shit or something? You're just like, fuck it. Let me get no, dumb drunk too. For- Two wrongs don't make a right. Somebody could, be, somebody could be doing something, but if you do it too, it's not going to be... It's just gonna be a lot of wrong shit happening. Like you feel like you're put in this world to inspire and to change. Oh yes, gotcha. That goes back to somebody calling me when they was drunk. Literally gotcha. called me just to tell me, "Yo, you motivate me. You inspire me." I'm like, "Yo, 
You drunk? I'm drunk. <laughs> <It's bar. laughs> but no, you're saying something. But you know, and and I do want. I was I was put here for that reason. Proud of myself. You listed as your favorite track of all time that you've ever created. So far, yes, because I know I'm gonna make other things that's gonna like be like, yo, that's the one. But proud of myself. It was before even Nate came around, and I knew I was gonna be at the top. Like, for some reason, when I make a song, I don't know why this happens. I'll make a song, and it's like I'm speaking like it already happened. Like, gotcha. in the song, it's like talking about, never thought I'd be, like, never thought I'd be here. I didn't mm-hmm. think I would get this far. Mind you, I didn't even get no nowhere yet. I just made the song, right. and I'm like, already, I see a vision in my head. Like, I see myself at this, it's like a staircase. And it's like, I think of like Jack and Jill, not the Jack and Jill, what I'm saying. I'm talking about Jack and the Beanstalk. Right. I think of myself as the giant at the top of the beanstalk. And people are throwing beans and trying to get to where I'm at, like trying to grow the same right. stem to get where I'm at. I'm always thinking like that. I'm like, I'm the biggest. I'm going to be one of the greatest, you know? So, Real. Yeah. Real. When it's all said and done, Mia Snow, what is your legacy? Meaning as to what? Like, just... How would you want to be remembered? <sighs> one of the greatest. I want When they hear Mia Snow, they're going to say, she was one of the greatest. That's what I want them to say. And I actually made a song where I was like, going to be one of the greatest. And that's on and on. And Kodak actually wants to get on that song. Classic. So whenever he's ready, he taking, he's that. taking his precious time right that? now. <laughs> that's classic. But whenever he's ready, like he said he was, he gonna get on it when he get on it. I don't like to me. I don't like to pressure artists getting on a song. If you want to get on something and you 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 told me you want to get on it, but I'm not gonna be on your ass saying yo, you got a song done yet? I said it multiple times. I sent it like seven times. You gonna get on it when you're ready. When it's time, it's gonna be perfect timing too. Yeah, it will. And I and I realize I'm learning patience at the moment too. So I gotta be patient. Gotcha. I hate being patient. I I hate that shit. I'm like, oh, just do it. No, you're just driven. No, you're driven. I'm driven. But sometimes it happens at the perfect time. He's gonna come. God has. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's all on His favor. So He gonna make it happen when it happens. A million artists can't even say. That Kodak, Co- bro, you, you want to know how it happened? Yes. Nobody can say that Kodak hit them in their DMs singing their lyric. He didn't say nothing else first. All he said was, on and on. I was wow. like, hey, that's all I said back was, hey. And then he was like, you going to get me on the remix or wow. what? And I'm like, run he it. asking me to run, run it? it. Run it. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's do it right now. So I sent it like seven times. But. You know, no. Sometimes, he busy. sometimes that's it. It happens when it things happens. happen. He had some things happen that you. was bullshit. Gotcha. Now he recently had a baby too. So, gotcha. c- uh, congratulations that's to him on up. that. Like, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Have, so I'm not pressuring him about the, about it right now, but do it. Right. <laughs> no, that's because some, sometimes it, it, it it's gonna help. It. Like at the end of the day, I'm not just somebody he's just doing a feature with. Real. He's gonna go like. It's big snow at the end of the day. Come on, sir. If you got a song with snow, <laughs> you win it. I'm just That's telling real. you, like. It. That's real. That's real. You win it if you got a song with me because, yeah, we, I'm one of the greatest. We spoke on <laughs> April 4th. That's a fact. We spoke on April 14th. Album release. The second quarter. Third quarter. Fourth quarter. The thing you spoke on touring. Everything y'all got in the works. Going to be crazy. I go to New York. Classic. Come on. Now. I'm going to New York <laughs> for the so, first, time. first time. Yo, I'm so excited about New York. Like, wow. you know why though? Because uh, let me tell you the difference between New York and Atlanta so far. New York people, they move fast. Y'all are always walking that's and, a fact. and 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 just they, they're, their they're mindsets. About, they're about fact. getting that's shit right. done. That's, that's me. Right. I ain't got no patience, so I'm always like, let's get her done. Just as the thing. In Atlanta, everybody's lazy. And I will say everybody, because everybody's lazy. You people procrastinate. People are always like, uh, let me just, I'll do it in a minute. No, do it now. Gotcha. You may not have a minute, but we have a second, so do it now. Thank you. Thank you. Like, people are always lazy. Like, if you doing something, do that shit, because you never know when you can do it again. There's a lot of opportunities to get fucked up just because you won't do, do it, it when you have the chance. Wow. You you always think there's another chance. No. Sometimes there's not. There's not. And that's just life. Do it when you can. Like, 
And if you can at that moment, if you can sit sit there and say, "Oh, I can do it the next time," you can do it now. You have a, you can do it wow. now. Since I was going to ask you, what's that message you would give to your supporters? Do but it that was now. It. Thank you. Do it now is my message. <laughs> real. Do it now. Wow. <laughs> just like Nike said, just do it. Mine is do, do it, it now. now, like right now. Respect. Respect. Not later, not tomorrow, because at the end of the day, tomorrow's not promised. I'm tired of hearing that little lame, that little over and over. It's not lame, but it's over and over. It's People repetitive. hear that all the time. Yep. So do it now because you don't have tomorrow. You don't have later. If you do have tomorrow, do it tomorrow too, but don't listen to that part. If don't it ends up being tomorrow, do it that day too. Real. Like just do it every day until you can say you did it for real. Like real. I want to get to the point where I'm like, I did it. I actually got a song out. I did it. It's on that Proud of Myself album as gotcha. well. So when I was like, I did it. I, in my song, I was just like, I did it. Like meaning I did it. Put everything Simple. In. Three words. I did it. Another three words. Do it now. Do it now. <laughs> Do it now so you can say I did it. That's real. Do though. it now so you can say I did it. Real. Mia Snow with $50 million in your bank account tomorrow morning. What changes about you? Nothing. That's going to God. That's going to be put up and it's going to the three things that I want to do for real, which is the foster kids, the studio. Of course, I'm going to get myself right, but I'm making sure I save anything I have so I can have that to help others. Like, I just want to help because nobody, nobody wanted to help me. Help. Help. Real. Respect. You know that saying, help, I've fallen and I couldn't and I can't get up. I, I fell many times, but I never said I couldn't get up. Real. I may have fell, but I got up, and I did it now. Type and you shit. did it now. I did it now. Like you just Real. gotta do it now. Respect, Mia Snow. It's been a pleasure. On the integrity response, it is custom and tradition. If you could reach into that bowl, uh, I'm not eating one, this. I know you said you were. <laughs> grab one fortune cookie. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> right, right. Look, everybody, do go get one. <laughs> oh, right there. <laughs> Come on, this might be the one. Right. It might be the one. Right, right. It might be the one. So, now we gonna put it back. It might be it. We had to mix it up because right. these don't look mixed. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing. Y'all Every ready? artist comes and does the same. They mix the ball up and show they want the top. Look. I love it. I love it. Let's so, do this. I'm not eating it though. You know it. You know it. <laughs> okay, y'all. You wanna hear it? Oh, oh, oh. All right, good night. <laughs> Classic. Okay. All right, go ahead. You know you wouldn't eat it. I don't want to admit. Oh, my God. I knew it. I just knew I, I was supposed to fucking. You know what this says, y'all? Yes, come on. You want to know what this says? Come on. I should cry. I'm about to cry. You ready? Okay. <laughs> Among the lucky, the one, meaning the ones who are lucky, they made it to where they're at right now. Right. You are the chosen one. Bar. Do you realize this? Bar. Do you know? It's just God. It's just God. Bar. Talking about among Real. the lucky, you, you are, are the, the chosen, chosen one. one. Among everybody else, they Bar. got lucky to be where they're at now. Doing the most. Among. Right. Just happened to just be. Just whatever. Just right. got lucky to be where they are. I'm the chosen one. And I'm going to put this in a frame on the wall. Real. Sis. <laughs> Real. This was meant for me, man. Wow. Yeah, Mia it's going in my wallet. April 14th. Not the cookie. Right. This is cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody she already, eating this she shit. She already mentioned she ain't touching that cookie. <laughs> right. Mia Snow, it's been a pleasure. 2024, yes. big things in the work. April 14th, your birthday, which also happens to be the, the time you're opening <laughs> your album to the world. Everybody's invited. Everybody and their mama. Come invited. On. Come on with it. It's time. I'm going to have somebody make us curry chicken. <laughs> you're right, you're right. <laughs> yes. No, I ain't going to do that. <laughs> That's what's up. It's been a pleasure to integrity response. Mia Snow. Big you, Snow. Big Snow. We up out of here. Yeah. Salute.